Hello there. So this assignment is called a uh, statement of understanding, and that's when you observe something, you discover something, you try to give a hypothesis to explain what you're seeing or, or what you think you know about something, and then you kind of record information or observations. And then in the end, you, you decide, well, did I know what I thought I knew? Um, and what do I know now? And why do I think what I think? And you provide reasons or your observations to support your ideas. So you really just link something you think, um, such in this example, you would explain if whatever your answer is to this, how do analog radio waves communicate? Well, whatever you think the answer would be to that, or whatever you learn later on the answer is to that, you explain, you explain what you think about this question uh, using your observations. So how, how to begin? So in general, you read this question right here, how do analog ra uh, radio waves communicate? And then here, your next step is to write a hypothesis. I think that, and then you, I want to put a blank here, but you would put what your answer would be to this question. So you have your initial ideas. What do you think the answer is? If someone asked you this, what would you put? So you put it right in this middle box. So this, this middle box right here. is the first place you start. You give an answer to this first question. So the first question was, how do analog radio waves communicate? And right here, you put your answer. What do you think it is? What, how would you answer that? No pressure. It's just what you think generally, right? What do you think the answer would be? And then you're fine. All right, after you do that, your responsibility is to go to the website to start pulling information. You start writing, you're going to start writing observations in this box right here. Um, that will be evidence, evidence to use to decide if you were right or you were wrong earlier. Here is the website. Uh, in Google Classroom, there's a link to this right here. But you'd click on this. It'll ask you, you know, it's all, all these safety things, but just say you'll keep it. And then you'll click open and you hit run. And this is where you start. This is the beginning. So you'll play, you can play with anything over here. Um, except what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't, I wouldn't click on if I were you just to help you. I wouldn't uh, click on uh, electric field. I would just leave the full field and the electric field alone. And I would just base everything you uh, study on curve with vectors, playing with curve, um, force on electron, or radiated field, static field. Well, see what you come up with. But you can adjust all these items over here. You can adjust these things right here. And you quickly see the information you receive, right? So you're going to interact with the activity, and you're going to start writing down things you observe. So everything you see that you think is important, so every time you do something when, in this activity, any time you adjust something and you see something new, anything you think is important that could help you understand this question better, you'd write it down here. Your responsibility is to write eight observations in this box. So you're going to have eight different ideas playing with the activity. Just Whatever you do, just explore the activity, but eight observations that would help you better understand this question. How do analog radio waves communicate? Remember, this whole simulation is based on analog radio waves, so a constant uh, uh, radio uh, wave signal. Once you do that, once you come up with these uh, eight observations from interacting with the simulation, your final task is to fill in this area down below, this box area. This is where you will write about whether you thought your hypothesis, your, your initial hypothesis here, was correct or not. So you would say, my hypothesis was, and it's correct or not correct, or we should put supported or not supported. My hypothesis was supported or not supported. 
Um, and then you say uh, the observations used to accept or not accept my earlier hypothesis. All right, so it says this observ the observations used to accept or not accept my earlier hypothesis were, and then this is the point where you start saying, well, the things that I observed, you start using them as evidence. So if you think your hypothesis was supported, which of these up here supports your original hypothesis? If you think your hypothesis was not supported, which of these observations here do you feel like went against your original hypothesis? So we keep saying, was your hypothesis right or wrong? Don't forget, this whole box right here is your hypothesis. What you wrote right here, I think that, that's your hypothesis. Whatever you think the answer was at the very beginning, so when you first read this question and you wrote an answer to it down here, that was the hypothesis. And down here, you simply say, what, do you think your hypothesis was supported or not supported based on what you learned from the simulation? What you learned from the simulation were these observations. So right here, finishing up, really what you're saying is, my hypothesis, was it right or not, supported or not supported? Um, I decided to keep my hypothesis or reject it or not accept it because, and you just give your observations here. So you could say, were, uh, okay, the observations used to accept my hyper uh, earlier hypothesis were first, second, third, et cetera. So you're really just supporting. You, down here, all you want to say is, well, my hypothesis uh, appeared supported or not, and give reasons why based on what you saw. That's all you have to do. You have to type and communicate that information. All right. When you're done with this, this bottom part is called your statement of understanding. It's what you understood from your observations and what you learned about your initial hypothesis. So any activity like this, we call the statement of understanding, named after this bottom part, which is where you type up um, and tell me what you can now say about or what you understand about uh, analog radio communication. Good luck.